Well, have the Griffins in San Antonio Rampage wrap up a two-game weekend set here at Van Andel Arena this afternoon after a come-from-behind win for the Rampage last night ended their nine-game losing streak here in downtown Grand Rapids, and it was uh, just their fourth win in the last 20 games head-to-head -head against Grand Rapids. Tightening things up even more so in the Central Division standings. More on that in a moment. They used a wide-open offensive attack again to the Rampage last night. The last three games against Grand Rapids, they generated 44, 43, and 41 shots respectively against a Griffins team that allows only 29 per game. So Grand Rapids will certainly have to figure out a way to tighten things up defensively in the rematch today yeah they shoot from everywhere um, you know, that's their biggest thing right now I think is um, just getting the puck to the net and you know just we have to find a way to contain them you know they got four on us today but um, you know I still didn't think we played too bad they just shoot the puck from everywhere so just got to contain them and, and continue to work. Well, the Griffins certainly generated their fair share of uh, offensive opportunities. 42 shots at Adam Wilcox. Had the lead three different times. Couldn't hold it, however, as uh, the Rampage Austin Poganski would tie the game at three at 12.40 the third period, followed a minute and one second later by the power play goal from Clem Coston, and the Rampage go on and uh, hang on to the win and hand Pat Nagel his first loss in his last five starts. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, the team's been rolling. Uh, Eventually you're going to catch a night like tonight where maybe we don't get a couple bounces, but uh, yeah, we'll get back on track tomorrow. I'm sure Picks will get the boys a win. Well, Picks, of course, is Calvin Pickard will make his first start since February the 11th in a highly critical game this afternoon. That win for San Antonio last night, Manitoba earning a point, tightening things up a little bit more so in the Central Division standings. As you take a look, both Milwaukee and Iowa won last night. They just keep running away with things. So it's those last six teams, uh, Griffins included, two of them will make the playoffs. Grand Rapids right now in the driver's seat all by themselves in third place. No word yet, no update on Mort Sider. Got injured late in that second period, had to be helped off the ice. Same thing with Nathan Walker, one of the top scorers for the Rampage. Good hockey player and kind of an ugly looking injury early in period number three. Griffins after tonight won't be home now until the uh, return March 7th to host the Rockford Ice Hogs. In the meantime, four straight games on the road starting Friday night in San Antonio. You can follow us all the way through that road trip as always on your Griffins Home Away from Homewood Radio. Thanks for joining us for our game day preview today brought to you by Michigan First Credit Union.